to our last section of chapter one. We'll have a couple videos for this one. Um, so let's get started. We're going to look at circles. So we might remember the basic formula for a circle, but if not, I will remind you of that. Maybe we've never seen it. Um, either way, it's fine. So let's look at the formal definition of a circle first, and then we will find the formula. Um, so a circle is defined as the set of all points in the coordinate plane that are a fixed distance r um, called the radius from the center. So if you look at the image below, we have the center, right? No matter where I go, it's a fixed distance. That's the formal definition of a circle. Um, so using that definition, let's find the formula. So we have a fixed distance. So the distance from the center, I'm going to call it hk to any point, right, whether it's this point or this point or this point, right, the distance is r. r is the fixed distance. So we're going to use the distance formula. I'm going to jump into d squared. I'm going to use the squared version of it. Um, we're going to do x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, right? I'm deriving it from the distance formula. And so uh, my points, I'll call this, these are my two points. So h and k will be my x1, y1, and x, y will be my x2, y2. Regardless of where I go, it should be the same formula because distance is always the same. So distance is r, so we get r squared. And then my x2 is x, my x1 is h, just a generic point for the center. So x minus h squared plus, and then my y2 is y, and my y is k. h and k are just generic numbers, just whatever the center, center is. And so we get r squared is x minus h all squared plus y minus k squared. So this is my formula for a circle. Maybe we've seen it, maybe we haven't. Um, let's define a circle with center zero, just because that's a nice common formula. What if the center is zero, zero, right? So this would be any circle with the origin as the center. So we'd get r squared equals x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared. So r squared is x squared plus y squared. So basically, if we have an x squared and a y squared, it tends to make a circle. Um, so let's do a few examples. Um, so if I have the circle x minus 2 squared and then y plus 5 squared equals 16, um, the center is what we're subtracting. So x minus 2 means the x value is 2. Um, the y value is not 5. Remember, it's a subtraction. So it's y minus negative 5 to make positive 5. So the center would be 2, negative 5. And then 16 would be 4 squared, so the radius would be 4. Cool. So now we get to practice completing the square to find this. So we need to complete the square to find the center, because we need it in the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That is not the form that we currently have. So I'll add more review from Khan Academy for completing the square if you want more than just this. Um, but maybe this is enough refresher for you. So to complete the square, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the x's together. And I'm going to leave space to complete the square. So leave a gap, and then I'm going to put the y's together. And then I don't really want to deal with co constants right now, so I'm going to move the 128 to the other side. So minus 128. So we're going to complete two squares. Let's actually do purple. So the trick for completing the square is what we're going to do is we're gonna, we, have, we want to make a perfect square. Um, so I'm going to remind you of the process. If you have no memory, I'll add more details with my Khan Academy review. Um, but if we do remember, what we do is we take our b value and we divide it by 2. 
So B here for the x's is negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. And then we go ahead and square that. And negative 10 squared is 100. So the idea here is that we're going to add 100, and that's going to make a perfect square. And I'll show you where the negative 10 comes in play in a second. Um, I can add 100 as long as I add 100 to the other side. That's why it's allowed. And this makes a perfect square of x minus 10. So if you do x minus 10 squared, right, negative 10 times negative 10 gives me 100. And negative 10 plus negative 10 adds up to that negative 20. So this trick will always make a perfect square. So we'll do the same thing for the y's. So we'll take the b value and divide by 2. And we get 8. So just looking ahead, that means y plus 8 squared. But we'll check that in a second. Um, and then I'm going to square it, b over 2 squared. So we're going to square it, and we get 64. So that means we're going to add 64 to make a per This will force it to be something we can factor into a perfect square. And it's allowed as long as I do it to both sides. And so 8 times 8 is 64, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So it made us a perfect square. And then if I simplify the other side, I get 36 on the right side, which is 6 squared. So my center will be 10, right, x minus 10. And then y plus 8 would be y minus negative 8, right, because it was a subtraction. And my radius will be 6 because 6 squared is 36. So if you want more practice with completing the square, I'll throw that in the Khan Academy review.